Hey, good morning guys, SD here. Uh, ran some more tests on this last night uh, using this new uh, trigger coil setup. And uh, see if we can get it clipped up and show you some results here. Get these meters on. Uh, we're using, uh, it's 1253 is our uh, primary battery using a 75 AH battery and I've got three of the worker batteries all hooked up and they're sitting at 1298 let's get this clipped on here get her fired up Now again, uh, Alan had asked, coming off of each of the uh, transistors, I've got a, a half watt 82 uh, ohm resistor off of everything there. Um, this one here, I'm using a, uh, a 2 watt 10 ohm resistor currently. Coming off of the uh, potentiometer from tab 1 to tab 3, uh, Doug had me uh, get a uh, 1 watt uh, one uh, one thousand ohm resistor there, just to give this a little bit more adjustment. And what I'm going to do is get this up to uh, uh, about the C20 rate of a single uh, 18AH battery. Just let her get stable in speed there. Just at that uh, same setting compared to the other uh, rotor RPMs are up pretty close to uh, almost 200 uh, RPMs more. Uh, output is a little higher than uh, it was before. We were just under uh, uh, 400. Uh, milliamps before and now we're slightly over almost at 500 uh, milliamps going into the charge battery now we'll go ahead and move this up slightly when she kicks into gear she will just take off on me so probably going to get a little bit better uh, potentiometer with that I'm going to try to get it stable at uh, close to uh, 2 amps you can definitely hear the uh, rotors taking off. And the uh, input going into the uh, charge batteries, 800 uh, milliamps and climbing towards 900. We're still not up to the uh, C20 rate of what all three of these batteries would equal, so I just let it run there for a little bit. Did, did one uh, test, and uh, while it's coming up in, in speed, you notice just a little bit of heat uh, in, the, in the potentiometer at uh, 75. Once it gets up in the uh, rotor is, is pretty much stable in the speed. Everything across the board, all the way across, actually drops down. You know, it's running like 69 degrees temperature. It's like it, everything gets colder the faster this thing goes. Which is pretty interesting. And let's see what we got for RPMs here. <clears throat> And as you've seen in the first video, this thing I can just peg this 3 amp meter, so uh, probably get a couple of uh, 5 amp uh, meters and put it in line. I can leave that one there like it is right now because I still got a ways to go before I'm at 3 amps on the input. Uh, output is what I'm really looking at and uh, see what goes on from there. 
charge rate's still pretty nice and it'll slowly come up when I've got all three batteries up to it now. It's not just going crazy off of the one single battery. I've got a little room I can do some tests with it now. Anyway, I figured the posted results uh, so you guys can see this. Now if I do increase this up to uh, one amp, uh, going into the uh, uh, charge battery, we're sitting at uh, but uh, 2.6 uh, amps and you can actually hear the rotor still speeding up charge rate is already jumping up but she seems to be working okay and let's see if the heat actually went down It's actually getting colder. Checking everything going across the board. Yep. 72 up across the board on everything now. So I think what I'll do is just get a different uh, potentiometer, something that can take a little heavier wattage. She's running right at uh, uh, 2.2 uh, amps. And uh, everything's stabled out at 800 milliamp input. Alright guys, we'll catch you later on. Let me know what you think.